stand for our union, we'll start getting involved with our communities and organizations, because only together can we make a fucking difference. Day rally in Lower Manhattan. It's happening right now, and as you can see from Newscopter 7, hundreds of people are part of this rally right now and that march that started in Washington Square Park and made its way to Foley Square in Lower Manhattan. Now, this is one of many rallies held across the globe today fighting for workers' rights. Right now, in prisons across our state, there are people working for pennies on the dollar to fill the things that we use every day. Of millions of workers who run New York, for domestic workers who toil in homes, for incarcerated workers paid pennies an hour, for excluded workers denied a safety net, for protections for sex workers, for safeguards against unjust firings, and for the right to a union. We march today for a higher minimum wage. May Day is for all workers. Repeat after me. May Day is for all workers. In Washington Square Park together were unions, sex workers, immigrants, and socialists, all beating the drum for fairness and dignity in the workplace. member of the Street Vendor Project. One of the things that we're asking to legalize street vending uh, and make more permits and licenses available for everybody. The second thing that we're asking for is the decriminalization and repeal of street vending so that street vending is not considered a crime in the city of New York. The third thing we're asking for, comrades, is services be provided just like all other small businesses for street vendors by the Small Business Services uh, Department. And the last thing we're asking for is more public space for street vending. Uh, and less, less restricted streets, comrades. May Day was once about fighting for the eight-hour workday. But today in New York City, we've gone backwards. Right around the corner at City Hall, hundreds of women of color, home care workers, are fighting to end their 24-hour workdays. City Council Speaker Adrian Adams is fighting tooth and nail to protect insurance companies and home care agencies who continue to profit by robbing workers of their sleep and their wages, destroying their health and their families and working them to death. Workers will be calling on the United Nations to declare the 24-hour workday as a crime against humanity. And Speaker Adams is the chief criminal. When even one of us is working a 24-hour day, we all suffer. We all work longer hours in worse conditions and for lower wages. That's why we must all come together to demand an end to this crime against all workers, this crime against humanity, so that we can achieve uh, and together improve our working conditions. As I was chatting with workers as they dispersed from Foley Square, several were quick to point out to me they were a little disappointed not to see more senior city and state elected leaders here with them today. They say it only reaffirms their belief they need to do more events like this to accomplish their goals, be it minimum wage or immigrant rights or sex worker rights, all of it. They say they need more marching and more action. Where they 
can get a job and for how long they need to study. The time is now. We say New York, no more. We are not revenue for the city nor the state. And it is time that we pass laws that allow our people to live independently. It is time that we pass laws that reinvest back into our community. The Plan Act, the preliminary licensing application navigation. Because the time is now for New York to come back and give us our equal rights. Peace and blessings. After me, May Day is for all workers.